I'm Steve Phillips, and I was going to show my landmines today. They're really rare, and uh, a lot of people have, have never seen one, don't know they existed. But the Confederates invented these along with uh, uh, a lot of other innovative things. They didn't have much, but they had they they had good inventions such as the Hunley, the submarine, and uh, the landmines were used only in a couple of places, primarily down at uh, Mobile Bay at uh, Blakely. In Mobile Bay, they used them there, and then they used them over at Savannah, and I'm not sure where else they they might have used them, but I'm lucky enough to own two landmines. Um, this one is in a eight inch shell, and uh, the the other one is looks like it's in about a 24 pounder. They had a uh, a safety cap on them that would be unscrewed after after they were ready after they were buried and ready to be stepped on. And um, by the way, they make some some fake uh, landmines. I've seen two over the years, and the way you can spot them is if they look like they're made too well, they're probably fake. Uh, these. These safety caps were cast in a sand mold, and they uh, you can see that. But if it's turned all the way right here in a lathe and real shiny and smooth, then it's, it's not right. Uh, the landmine fuse would be like this. And it was uh, adjustable a little bit to make the height right. It would have a, uh, this is adjustable inside, it's threaded here, threaded here, different threads on the, where the safety cap screwed on. In here, they would drop a type of a friction primer in it that had a crushable uh, top, and over that, would be a, a, a piece of um, like foil almost that that protected it from uh, the weather but would crush easily. The foil's missing on, on these. The piece inside, another way you can spot a fake is this piece inside is slightly, the screws inside here, is slightly tapered. Where uh, the, the fake I saw, um, which a lot of the museums are making these fakes, by the way. A lot of museums you go in now, they don't have the real, real thing. They've got um, reproductions, but it's fake. And I wish they wouldn't do that. I mean, if they can't have the right stuff, then have something else. But have... Museums should only have original, no reproductions in museums. But uh, on the on the fake I saw, this this piece that screwed in was not tapered. It's slightly tapered. They had a a loading plug on the side that looks like a uh, a plumber's uh, plug. Um, if you dig one of these down at Blakely, then. Uh, it's probably not a plumber's plug, and you should hang on to it. But you can see the, the rough way it's made. Even had a, a a lathe dimple in the top where it was turned, I guess, before they put the threads in. I don't know exactly how they made them. But that's one of the loading plugs that would go in here where they would uh, load, the, load the powder after this was in. This is an 8-inch one. has has tongs where it was... Uh, probably originally a, a, a cannonball, and they changed it here. And then this one is a 24-pounder. Notice it has a a different fuse on it. It's uh, almost the same, but it's got a place where a wrench would fit it. Same kind of safety cap.
and uh, they were they were very effective, but the Yankees uh, didn't think that was fair, which I don't know in what in war is fair. I thought you're supposed to kill people, but uh, they started making the captured Confederate soldiers walk in front of the Yankees uh, so they would uh, set off the landmines or at least tell where they were if they knew. And that's about it on the landmines. <laughs>